to all my lovelies out there this morning. Dan's over there chatting to Warren. So, this morning, I've done a few jobs already, um, but I'm just going to do some windows and stuff. going to take it easy today. Um, yesterday, I'm going to be honest, I was so exhausted. Yeah, so I'm just going to do some windows. All I use is kitchen towel and windowline. I'm sure there's other better products. Water gleam and all that. Um, this look. This has never worked properly since I asked Dan to take this off when I was cleaning the mould. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> I'll pretend it's not broke. Yep, so I just like to freshen up my windows every now and again. And to do a decent job, I always open your window so you can get to the edges, of course. Now they're not dirty as such, as you know I do do my windows quite often. Um, there is some there is some special motorhome stuff though, a quick tip, good one. The, all these seals around the edges are rubber and they do perish and I think you can buy like, I'm guessing it's kind of oily, you know just to keep them moist and to keep them fresh basically. I don't have none but I would recommend to do that. Or some kind of substitute. I'm not going to use a substitute today. And another tip. Always just use like a microfiber cloth, some tissue, something soft. Because these windows actually are plastic and very easily scratched. Although you can fix them. Um, that's another job. <laughs> but today I'm going to do all the skylights, which I don't do that often. So I'll crack up with that. And good morning from me, people. Right, I'm starting with an easy job today. Mazzy got some batteries from in the shop the other day for the clutch claw. All because she wants that tiny little light there to flash on an evening. To stop people getting in this van. It's locked and I'm here. But uh, yeah, I'll do that for her. So I'm just going to take this apart, put the new battery in and hopefully it's going to flash. So into the bathroom one. Good old spray. Get up there and give it a wipe. <sighs> there, so I've done the shower one, done the toilet, and of course every time I do my um, windows, I do my mirrors too. I always polish them two up, and I always polish the f one in the lounge and the fridge and freezer. So just another quick tip, um, just something I do, every time I do do windows, mirrors, etc, I always just give these little tea lights a good going over as well. You'd be surprised, especially like maybe in the kitchen area, you know, they need dusting off too. moment of truth are you flashing are you flashing are you flashing it's not flash mazzy it's not flashing really it's it don't work mazzy but it should do no it don't work it don't work it's not flashing i'll try turning battery around but it's not looking good turn the battery around oh no i think it is incorrect so guys while i'm doing a few tips today i showed you this one the other day to how i clean out my little um track this, look, this is what I'm talking about. This is how dirty it gets. It gets dirty. It's disgusting. <laughs> I'm actually ashamed of it. It's embarrassing. So I've got to do this again now today and get it all nice. Um, yeah, literally two days I think that took this time just to get this bad. So last one in the bedroom, <clears throat> I'm going to do the skylight. As you guys know, this is actually a brand new skylight. This is actually now a little job I'm going to ask Dan if he could do today. So I'm going to clean this, but check this out guys. Ooh, it's so stiff. I, I can't, I struggle to even do that. Even Dan struggles to do that. See, I can't even open that now. 
So maybe, I don't know, WD-40 or what's that man stuff? Gorilla tape or something? Dragged into the bedroom. Sort this out. So this is really stiff. All I can see is you've got this silly little wire. So I'm just going to spray that with WD-40, but I don't think it's going to do any good. I think it's just the where the plastic is. We'll give it a go. Not sure if it's made much difference. No, I don't know. It doesn't seem quite as stiff now. It is a good one, isn't it? It's ten times better than what we had. Yeah, definitely. But that now, Mazzy, you know, it's. I don't think it's done any good. No. It's just new. It's gonna, and we're probably gonna have a lot of WD-40 dripping down for a few days. But never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Right into the cab again. Open all your windows to get to the edges. Now we never, ever, ever actually open this. Although we did the other day, Dan did the other day for the first time. So I don't even know how to open it actually. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, how does it stay? Oh no, I'm getting myself into a right pickle, is I? <laughs> I'll just try and get on with it. Oh no. Broke it. Shh. I think I'm in trouble. Okay, I found it. That just goes on there. I think that's what holds holds it up when when you do that. I'm not sure. Right, so I'm just gonna hold it up by hand and crack on. I just didn't have it in quite right. Look! Look at that! Look at that! No one's gonna break into our van now, Mazzy. I've sorted it. Yay! <laughs> Look, it flashes! It is such a good security deterrent though. It, it is. is. Honestly, no one's ever going to break into our van because we've got a flashing light. Unbelievable. How much were them batteries? About a fiver. 5 99 for two. 5 99 For that kind of money, I'd have rather stayed up and just flashed a torch every few seconds. And you'll be amazed by that. That is going to now flash continuously for a minimum of 12 months. 12 months on one battery. Pretty cool. I always then polish my taps, all my cooker hobs, and the sink in here. Just make everything shiny. I've just asked Dan to kindly take off this vent, which is above the microwave. And I can't get it out, love. How did you do the last one in the bathroom? Do you not remember? No, I don't. Maybe we'll... <laughs> Watch the video and see how you managed it. I don't know, but I cannot get that. No chance. No, sorry. No! It's gonna have to stay oh. mucky. Never no. mind. No! No! We'll just hide it. No, no, never know. Looks beautiful and clean. <laughs> so yesterday I saw the start of Caption It. Yeah. We'll show you a picture and you've got to come up with some funny captions and we'll read the best ones out. Yeah. And give you another one for tomorrow. So, yesterday's was a picture of me with some Gorilla Tape. Should we refresh them? We'll refresh, we'll show <laughs> yeah. them it. Some Gorilla Tape over a barbecue. Uh-huh. In third place, we've picked three, was Ashley Kipps Gorilla Q. I thought that was good because it's like barbecue and Gorilla Glue, <laughs> but Gorilla Q. I thought that was pretty, pretty clever. Second place. Neil Art said, so that's how you're sealing the juices. So that's how you're sealing the juices. Neil Art. Yeah. And the winner, and you've just picked this one, haven't you? Well, I've picked it last night, I'll just show you. I, I missed it for some yeah. reason. I missed this one, but I like it. Who, who is it by? It's by It's Only Me. It's Only Me. <laughs> no, Dan, no. I said Gorilla Tape, not Gorilla Tape. <laughs> I thought that was quite good. Quite yeah, good. Really good. So, today's caption it is me having a bit of trouble under the bonnet with my oil can and dipstick. We'll stick that up now. So get some uh, captions uh, in the description. Just put caption and then put what the caption is. Loads of people did it yesterday. Yeah, so. yeah. So was lo lo there were some funny ones. There were some funny there. ones. So yeah. get your funny captions in uh, in the comments and we'll pick the best three for tomorrow. Yay! Why, hello. Good morning to you, beautiful. Oh, I do love a good bee. Hello. 
Hello, baby. Yeah. Come on, man. Come on. I love stroking bees. Oh, come back. Come back. Honey. Honey, wait, 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 wait. Do you remember yesterday? I do remember yesterday. That was the day after the day before yesterday. <laughs> and the day before today. But we told the guys about these bites. I see you at itching. Oh, the mosquito bites. Yeah, the midgy bites. And I asked for some home remedies. You did? Did yeah. anyone send any? Yep, yeah, I think we've got about four full things to try. Stuff that we have. Okay, so how are we going to try them? Put your leg up. We're going to test this on you because they seem to have liked you more than me. I have wow. got a few. Wow, seven. <laughs> seven. 77 more like. Yep. Yeah. Well, I've got, yeah, I've got a few there. Right. One, two, three. Well, there's five there. We could use four of them. Let me get my list out. So what, so what we're going to do then is try one on each bite and I'll tell you which one is least itchy afterwards, yeah? Yeah, yeah, we could do that, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, right, bear with me, let me go and get some products. I'll just have a little itch while you're doing that. <laughs> right, I've got my ingredients, guys. Right, so we got some malt vinegar, toothpaste, underarm deodorant, and a very, very hot spoon. Look at the steam on that. A hot spoon? Yes. Well, you know, we'll try it. Okay. <laughs> so let's try. Right. So we're going to use, let me have a good look. Yep. One, do you want to circle these four so we know yes. which we're working with? Right, so we'll go with this one. Yeah. We'll go with this one. Yep, that's not a permanent marker, is it, love? Uh, no. What? <laughs> it is, isn't it? I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. Right, and which one? The fourth one. You get to pick the last one. This one here. This one here, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's just add a smiley face because we can. <laughs> All right. Well, this is. It's itching, so I can't. I itch at the moment. Or yeah. can I can. I can itch. Oh, good. Yeah. Quick. Okay. So let's try. What right. vinegar? Let's try a bit of vinegar. Yep, vinegar now, first. Does it matter if it's white vinegar or wine vinegar or malt vinegar? It don't matter, it's vinegar, <laughs> innit? That's what I mean, this is what we have, so we're going to try this, okay? Um, yep, that's soaking wet. Anyone, yeah? Yeah, anyone. I'll go with this one. Okay. Okay, so that's vinegar. How's that feeling? Any better? Mm, not at the moment. No? Right, so we're going to write vinegar there. Okay, so is this, this Vinegar. isn't to stop insects biting, yeah, this is to get rid of the itching. Yeah. From mosquito midgy bites, yeah? Yeah, let me just use the other end and really douse that. Oh, it's stinging a bit, Mazzy. <laughs> is it? Oh no. That is actually stinging, Mazzy. That's not my fault, they told me to. Yeah, well, that, that wasn't the right good suggestion, I don't like that. Right, next one. Yeah. <clears throat> we'll go with... Toothpaste. Toothpaste. Oh, that's a bit much. Okay, sorry about this. Yep, toothpaste. Let's just go with that. Okay, nice minty yep. fresh leg. Sorry about the white horrible legs, people, but I haven't worn shorts since I was 16. Now, I have to write on there so everybody does actually know what they are, so we don't get mixed up. As long as it comes off, I'm not bothered. Toothpaste, yep. Yep. Now I've got to do the eyes. <laughs> So, another one was um, deodorant. Was yeah. it underarm deodorant? Well, they said, they said underarm or spray. I don't think it matters which. Now, what this does is it numbs it because it's like a... I don't know, it's a numbing agent or something. Shall I try a spray one as well then? Just in case no, it no, no, different. no, no, no. No? No. You happy for me to do yeah. this, yeah? Yeah. Right, let's no. go. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. There we go. So, I, you know, just in case we forget, let me write on there. Now, I haven't itched once yet. I'll tell you what's tickling him the most. The pen. The pen. <laughs> now, my spelling isn't, you know, up to market, but, you know. Right, this one you might not like. You might not enjoy this one. Why, what's this one? Hot spoon. Hot spoon. Yeah, but it's not going to be hot, hot, is it? But I've 
course, that's what it is, a hot spoon. Right. So what do you do? What is it? Right, just, just, what do you mean? That's hot water. Just hold your breath. Count to three. What is it? That's steaming, Mazzy. I can hold see, on. I can see steam coming off that spoon. <laughs> Think of John Smith's. Right? You, you ain't, you ain't doing that. Just look out the window for two seconds. Look out the window. Ready? Go on, just get it out with... Ow! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> <laughs> No, you're not doing that again. Right, you've done it once, that's enough. That's a stupid... Someone's winding you up with that one, aren't they? Well, a couple of people had actually said this, so... A couple uh, of people a suggested people, it. Yes. Don't do it again, Mazzy. No, really, I won't. That stings. Right. OK. So, I've got a right hot spoon. OK, well, I'm going to say straight away, don't try the hot spoon one. That's a really bad idea hot for anybody. Spoon. I'd rather itch. I'd rather itch so much that I get right down to my bone and grind half of my bone away with my fingers <laughs> than do that again. That really hurt. Really hurt. Right. Well, I do apologise, but these aren't my tips. I'm just doing as I'm been advised. OK. Do you want to show them the right way around? Yes. Right. So we've got hot spoon, burnt patch, deodorant, roll on, toothpaste and vinegar. Now, which one so far would you say is feeling the best? Toothpaste. Oh, okay. Feels quite nice. And which one? Because that's like a cool cream. Yeah. Which one's feeling in the worst? The hot one. The hot yeah. one feels. <laughs> it's still burning. <laughs> that ain't nice. That, that that. I think that's. To, I think what you meant to do is put that on my arm. Yeah. And it stops me thinking about it. I think it's a joke. I'm sure someone's winding me up here. That is agony. Yeah. Well, I was recommended, we was recommended to do those. Yeah, well, we'll give it five minutes. Things like deodorant might take a few minutes to work. Yeah. And then I'm going to give each one a little itch and see if it feels like I needed to itch it. Now, with the toothpaste, shall I take the blob off? Or are you quite happy having no, the I'm blob on? I'm very happy with my blob on there, yeah. Right, five minutes is up. you got to do the itchy test. OK, well, let's start with the hot spoon. Yeah. Yeah, that's no different to how it was. Still a bit tickly, and it really burnt. Just don't use that. Just completely ignore that one. <laughs> Deodorant. Yeah, that's worked a bit. That's a bit numb. Is it? Yeah, but I can't see it lasting long. Right, You know, okay. it's, it's just numbed it for now. Vinegar. Just gives you smelly fingers. I won't go with that. I, I will be itching that in about half an hour. Guaranteed. <laughs> Toothpaste. <laughs> Toothpaste's all right. Yeah, rub it in. I quite like toothpaste. Yeah? That's your favourite? No, vinegar. Vinegar? Ooh. I'll tell you what, I prefer vinegar. Yeah, so if you've got mosquito or midgey bites, my advice, my tip, is vinegar. Yeah, you can wash it off now. Honey. Thank you. <laughs> Good luck with that one. <laughs> Today, we'd like to thank Mitchell Hayden, Daniel Chance, Howard Lee and Steve Wiggum. Thank you very much. Thank you to us new patrons and the new patron we just got two minutes ago who yep. doesn't want to shout out. Thank you very much for supporting this channel and helping it to grow. Yay! Love you! Love you all! So it is time for today's... Agony Trolls! Agony Trolls. Now, someone suggested Agony Rants. Agony Rants. Instead of Agony Ants. Yeah. Agony Rants. Yeah, Quite we, like that one. We rant, rant a bit, don't we? Yeah, can't remember yeah. who that was, sorry. Yeah. Um, Agony <laughs> Rants. Yep. That, I think we'll go with that we'll one. We'll change it, yeah. So, are you ready for today's problem? Yes. You people out there, give us your problems and we try to solve them for you. Yes. Okay, so here is today's. Dear Dan and Mazzy. Oh. I've got myself into a right situation. I'm a happily married woman of mature years. She's old. Happily married woman of mature years. Years. <laughs> but find myself torn between the right and the wrong. Mm -hmm. I have a loving husband that treats me really well. But still, I have found the need for extra lovers. 
I have had six weeks of being confined only to my home with my husband and not being able to see my two, two, special friends. They mean the world to me and keep me feeling alive. Have you any ideas how I can get through these next few weeks of lockdown? Or shall I use this time to commit myself to my husband only, despite my own happiness? Please, please advise me with your kind words that mean so much to me. A passionate follower. It's a shame we haven't got your name and address on this one. Yes, you will be exposed. <laughs> so, shall we help her? Yes. For one, um... For one, you're a dirty slapper. That's what you are. She's a dirty slapper, isn't she? Truth hurts. Yeah. Um, you've already um, committed yourself to your husband. What do you mean? Yeah, probably like 30, 40, 50 years ago, because you're really old. What are you doing? What are you doing with these extra lovers? Two extra lovers at Two. that. Two? Oh, that's just greedy. She's a it? mink. She's a dirty minger, Mazzy. She's a yeah. dirty minger. Now, we don't agree with things like this. Absolutely not. No, you're not going to get any nice, kind words from us. No. Nope. Definitely not. There's one thing about me and Mazzy. Yep. I think Mazzy's my fourth serious relationship. I'm and your you're second. You're my second, yeah. Um, and neither of us have ever cheated on our partners, no. ever. And I've never been cheated on. And I've never been cheated no. on. So we're very, very, very much against that. We don't condone this. No. At all. If you commit yourself to one person, then you look after that one person. Yes. So <laughs> my personal advice would be tell your husband. Yeah, give him the choice what he wants to do with you. Yeah. Tell your husband. Let him know you've got a couple of lovers and you're really missing them. Yeah. And then, well, before you do that, go in the loft and get the big suitcase out. Yeah, pack all your stuff in it, ready. Because he's yeah. going to kick your butt on the street where it belongs, you dirty, <laughs> dirty, dirty woman. Oh, another, another idea. There are lady products for things like this. You know, when your husband's at work, you don't need to be getting on the phone and calling, a, calling the milkman or the, or the postman round. You know, he's busy with Julie anyway from the other day. Yeah. Completely yeah. agree. You don't need. You've got lady products. Get yourself in kitchen. Get your frying yeah. pan out. Get your Hoover out. Whatever of your Duracell, products you I need. Duracell products. Anyway, tell your husband. Let him decide. But I can yeah. guarantee. Get your bag packed, love, because you're out of here. What a horrible woman. What a horrible woman. <laughs> a passionate admirer, I think she said. Aww. Dirty woman. Keep your agony ant uh, questions, problems coming into us. Yes. To. We're just... Tra sorry, I was trying to remember address. Travel Trolls TV at hotmail.com. Keep them coming in. Your problems. Not just relationship yeah, problems. Any we solve problems. anything. We, we can solve yeah, anything, can't yeah. we? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, you get that in... The I truth might hurt, though, guys. Oh, yeah, we will be honest. Yeah. We will be honest. <laughs> right, I think she's had long enough now. Oh, definitely, yeah. <laughs> you know, Does I she... how much it costs in, if you went to a therapist for something like <laughs> yeah, this. I do. <laughs> How long are we going to keep this joke going? <laughs> <laughs> so that's it for today, guys. Remember to put your captions in the uh, comments. Comments! <laughs> Send us your emails with your agony rants problems. Mm -hmm. And I've had a good day, have you? It's been really good, yeah. Nice of you all to join us yet again. Yeah. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow. Yep. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Goodbye, everybody. Love you all. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Thanks for watching! Please comment and hit the like button, that helps our channel grow. If you like what you see, click here to subscribe. Check out this other great video. And if you really want to show your support, join the club, become a Patreon for extra videos and perks. The more support we get, the more content we can give. We'll see you tomorrow on Travel, Travel Trolls, Trolls TV. TV.